Welcome to our video covering the Descartes Global Trade Analytics Tool. At Descartes, our analytics team creates customized deliveries based on our many different data sets and delivers them on the Microsoft Power BI platform. This allows us to develop very sophisticated deliveries with multiple data sets into a powerful and flexible analytics platform. We receive feedback from many of our customers that they need to create reports very quickly and that they need to have confidence in the reports. Having to go in and out of many different data sets to pull the data, then structure and format the data into a report can be extremely time consuming. People end up feeling like they need to jump through too many hoops to generate these reports. Imagine having these reports organized even before you're asked for it. Just click on your selection and have them placed into your reports, building a time sensitive report. With this delivery, you can get close to or even at near done reports in just a few clicks. The beauty of this delivery format is we can help you create the type of reports that are most effective for you and even give you the ability to customize further. Today I'll be showing you just a few examples of what these reports can look like. This data set is showing a global view of steel trade around the world. We've combined many different data sets to give you the most complete view possible. Some countries provide company level data. Some provide very specific census level views, and some have pretty generic level views. We search for and apply the best that is available in the entire market. The problem is they all come in different formats. As you can see here, this is all rolled up into one view. Imagine that you need to prepare for a trip meeting with another country and need to quickly gain an understanding of steel trade between the US and Turkey. Now you don't have to go in and out of each data set and pull the data. One way is to filter is to pick commodities. In this case, I've, I've picked steel. On this global view, you can select your reporting country as Turkey and see the volumes that Turkey is trading with the US. So in this case, I'm going to put in reporting country Turkey. Select it. And now I've really quickly be able to see these commodities that I've chosen. Uh, dealing with Turkey and seeing the amount of exports that they've done and I can see how much trade they've done with the United States But at the same time I'm also able to see their other partner countries how much they've done trade with Russia the United Kingdom Netherlands and so forth I've also broken out a table to show you the share and the volume now let's say you want to drill down and identify companies that are trading in these commodities we'll continue using Turkey as an example Traditionally, it's been really difficult to identify company names at this level. With this platform, we compile all of our data sets that have company names and pull them together to give you a new step in finding suppliers or buyers. Now let's switch over to this company names view and we'll select partner country as Turkey. Here you can see the countries that are providing these company names that are tra doing trade with Turkey. And if we scroll down, you're going to see the company names and the volumes that they're doing the trade. Now let's take a look at another commodity type and see how our variance reports work. In this case, we're going to look at the global trade of soybeans. This variance report is really designed to give you a month over month, year over year trade analysis. In this particular case, let's look at Finland and see the trade that's involved. These colors are designed to show you when something is spiking really low but abnormally high. So here you can see with these green that they're increasing pretty drastically month over month from the previous month in their trade. So you could actually take the types of reports that we generated earlier and get an understanding of what countries Finland is trading with. You can even drill down further what companies are involved with this trade. What I want to point out with you is how quickly we've done all this digging. We can customize these reports to show you the commodities you want, how you want it. When you're tasked with gathering and reporting on the best available data sets, you have them already available. Just click on the relevant pieces for your project. Another piece that's important and often overlooked is sharing reports. You have multiple options with this in Power BI. First is to print a page in a PDF. Uh, or to export it to a PowerPoint slide. If you go up here to File, you can pull this down to Print, you can export it to PowerPoint, or you can export to PDF. Let's click Export to PDF and we're going to export with the current values. And Here you have a nice PDF of the report that you've generated. 
And finally, let's say that you have a selection of tables or graphics that you want to put together on a custom page to share. For this, Power BI has a great ability to pin specific visuals. Let's say that you want to take this map, you collect this pin visual, and you're going to create a new dashboard. We're going to call this Cashew. Let's say that we also want to add this table. We're going to add to the existing dashboard. We can do a list of the importer names. Same thing. But let's say that there's some information on another report that we want to put on that custom report. In this case, We'll take the trend analysis. Now if we go out to our dashboards, we can select the report that we created called Debt Cashew and see the graphics that we've chosen. And again, you could go back up to file and print this out to a PDF or share it to PowerPoint, however you want to do it. If you're interested, you can actually click on this and it will bring you back to the report that this came from. Thank you for taking the time to view our Global Trade Analytics tool. Please feel free to reach out to us with any questions or to see more.